What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing my way too early 2024 NASCAR Cup Series playoff predictions. I'm going to go through all 16 drivers I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024, and then I'll tell you drivers I think will not make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. The first driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is coming off of having a really great year in 2023, scoring four victories and making it to the championship four, but he was also pretty inconsistent in the 2023 season. But I expect Kyle Larson to be the driver to be in 2024 for the championship. I think he's going to get quite a few wins, and I think he'll be someone you have to keep your eyes on, out on for this year's championship. I think Kyle Larson will have a great chance and a fantastic opportunity, and I believe that he will make the net champ, potentially make the championship four and will make the playoffs in 2024. The second driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. 2023 for Chase Elliott was not very good. He failed to win for the first time since 2017, only had seven top fives in 15 top tens, and was still recovering from a snowboarding injury. But I believe Chase Elliott in 2024 is going to have a bounce back season. I think he's going to be a championship threat and contender and he's going to get multiple victories throughout the regular season to make the playoffs. Nonetheless, I think it's going to be a great year for Chase Elliott and I think he will make the playoffs once again in 2024 after failing to make it in 2023. The third driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin's coming off of having a pretty good year in 2023, scoring three victories. But Denny Hamlin, unfortunately, for the second year in a row, failed to make the championship four. But I do expect Denny Hamlin to have another really solid year, getting a couple of victories. But I think this is also going to be Denny Hamlin's final really good chance and opportunity to win a championship and contend for a championship. Because starting coming into this year, Denny Hamlin will be 43 years old in 2024. So I expect Denny Hamlin to have a pretty solid year and make the playoffs pretty easily. And I think he will for sure be a championship threat once again in 2024. The fourth driver I think can make the NASCAR Cup Series Plus in 2024 is the driver of the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. William Byron in 2023 had a career season, scoring six victories and making it to the championship four for the first time in his NASCAR Cup Series career. And I expect William Byron to put up pretty similar numbers in the wins column in 2024 as well. I think he's going to be one of the guys you're going to have to beat throughout the season. I think there's a good chance he also makes it a championship four once again in 2024 as well. It's going to be a pretty good year for William Byron once again. I think he easily makes the playoffs in 2024 pretty easily. The fifth driver I think can make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the 22 car, 14 Penske, Joey Logano. Joey Logano had one of the worst series he statistically had at Team Penske in 2023, getting eliminated in the round of 16 and only scoring one win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. But every even year, Joey Logano has made it to the championship four. He made it in 2014, 2016, 2018 where he won the championship, 2020, and 2022 where he won the championship as well. I believe Joe Logano is going to make the championship for this year and at least get a couple of victories in 2024 to solidify a championship run. And I believe Joe Logano easily makes the playoffs in 2024. The sixth driver thing to make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a defending NASCAR Cup Series champion and the driver of the 12 car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney won his first ever NASCAR Cup Series championship a few weeks ago and looks to win another championship once again in 2024. Now, while I don't think Ryan Blaney will probably win the championship and probably won't make the championship for 2024, I still expect him to be more consistent during the summer and get a couple of victories along the way, which will easily prompt him to making the playoffs. I expect a pretty good year for Ryan Blaney, and unless I think it's going to be a solid enough year where Ryan Blaney will be a championship contender and threat in 2024. The seven driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the one car for Trackhouse Racing, Ross Chassin. Ross Chassin in 2023 had some pretty solid numbers, got two wins, but did have a down year in top fives in top tens. It had a worse average finish, especially during the summer months. 
But he's got a lot of momentum going to 2024 because he won the most recent race at Phoenix Racing, which, of course, was the championship race. I expect Rasha Sand is one team to put a lot of eggs and do a lot of good things in 2024. Where I think he could win more races than he has normally in a season. The last two years, he's won four races combined. I expect it to be a pretty good year for Ross Chastain. I think he easily makes the playoffs in the 2024 season. The eighth driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the eight car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch's first year with RCR was very, very good. He went on to get scored three victories, but unfortunately got eliminated in the round of 12 and put up a hell of a fight to try to make it to the round of eight. I expect Kyle Busch to win less races in 2024, only winning one race, because I think RCR is going to have some struggles. But that being said, if anyone get the best out of equipment, it's Kyle Busch, and I think easily for sure makes the playoffs going into 2024 in pretty easy fashion. The ninth driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell had a pretty year in 2023, scoring two victories, those coming at Bristol Dirt and at home at Miami Speedway, where he got to go to second straight championship four. Now, I think Christopher Bell is going to get a couple wins in 2024, and I also think he will once again be a championship threat and contender. Now, will he make it a championship four? That is one thing to keep an eye on, because I do think he has a chance and opportunity <clears throat> to do that going into 2024. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I expect Bell to make the playoffs going into the 2024 season, show a lot of pace and speed, and get a couple victories and easily make it into the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024. The 10th driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the 45 car for 2311 Racing, Tyler Reddick. And this is kind of someone who was a little bit on the borderline list for me, but he still had a pretty good year. He got to the round of eight for the first time in his NASCAR Cup Series career and did end up scoring two victories, those coming at Circuit America and Kansas Speedway. I expect Reddick to get a couple victories. So I think he wins a road course race and probably another mile and a half in the season. I think it's going to be a pretty solid and great year for Tyler Reddick. He may also have a more consistent year than what Bubba did last year and also what he did the previous year. His numbers are kind of similar to what he did. I expect it to be a pretty good year for Tyler Reddick in 2024, and I think he makes the playoffs for sure. The 11 driver, I think, will make the NASCAR Cup Series Plus in 2024 is the driver of the sixth car for RFK Racing, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski had a very solid year. His numbers are very similar to what he did in 2021, what he did in 2023. While he did fail to win a NASCAR Cup Series race in 2023, he still, like I said, had a very solid year. And I think he's going to end that winless streak in 2024 that's been nearly going on for three years up to this point. It's been a good year for Brad Keselowski. I think it's going to be a solid enough year in 2024. And I think he easily makes the playoffs for sure this year in 2024, considering how strong RFK has become in recent years. The 12th driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is the driver 17 car for RFK Racing, Chris Buescher. Now, unlike Brad Kozlowski, Chris Buescher did score three victories in the 2023 season and made it to the round of eight. And while I don't think Chris Buescher is going to win as many races in 2024, I still expect him to have a more consistent year and show a lot of pace and a lot of speed throughout the 2024 season. I think he easily makes the playoffs for sure. This is one I kind of expect. RFK was really, really good in the year, and I expect Chris Buescher to be pretty good in 2024 and make the playoffs. The 13th driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, Bubble Walls. Bubble Walls had a very solid year in 2023. He had a five top fives and 10 top tens. The second straight year he has scored those same numbers, but had the best average finish in his NASCAR Cup Series career. I think this year Bubble Walls is going to have his first multi-win year in 2024, winning both Kansas races. And I think he's also going to have a really good chance to advance through. He's a pretty good super speed racer, and I think he also has gotten better on road courses as well. So I think the Bubble Walls will have a career year in the Cup Series, get a couple victories, and I think he is going to be someone you have to contend with to try to win this champion, not win the championship, but I think he's going to be an outside championship threatening contender. I think he makes the playoffs for sure in 2024. The 14 driver I think will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is the driver of the 54 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs in 2023 did not make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, but for a rookie, he was at times extremely impressive. He got like 10, what, 10 or 11 top 10s this year and got like three or four top fives, which is pretty solid numbers for rookie standards. And I expect Ty Gibbs to get better. 
The second time we went to a racetrack, Ty Gibbs showed a lot of improvement and a lot of speed as we went and progressed throughout the year. And I expect Ty Gibbs to pick up his first career victory and maybe make a deep run in the playoffs this upcoming year. But like I said, I think this is going to be a pretty solid year and a pretty good year for Ty. And I think he easily makes the playoffs. Well, not maybe easily, but I think he's going to be someone that will make the playoffs for sure in 2024. The 15 driver, I think, will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is the driver of the 48 car for Hendrick Motorsports, Alex Bowman. This one was really, really tough because Alex Bowman did not make the playoffs in 2023 and completely struggled. Remember, he had a back injury from L3 vertebrae fracture that happened after a sprint car accident. I expect Alex Bowman to have a pretty big bounce back here. While not as good as what Chase Elliott, I think, is going to do in 2024, I still expect him to be pretty good in the 2024 year and at least score a victory in 2024. Alex Bowman is a pretty good driver. Blake Harris is a pretty good crew chief. They were leading the points at least beginning of the year in 2023. And I think in 2024, it's going to be a pretty big bounce back here for Alex Bowman. I think he does make the playoffs in 2024. And the 16th and final driver, I think, will make the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in 2024 is a little bit of a shocker. But I'm picking the driver of the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club, Eric Jones. Eric Jones is going back to Toyota for the first time since 2020, and Legacy Motor Club is going to be getting direct support from Toyota in 2024. That is a major reason why I'm picking Eric Jones. Plus, Eric Jones can always get the best out of equipment. I know it's a little bit of a struggle year for this team, so there's a little worry about that, and I was almost skeptical of picking him, but I think Eric Jones does, <coughs> in fact, make the playoffs. He's going to be the only guy that gets in that does not win a race in the regular season, so I think he does end up making it this upcoming year. And I think he's, like I said, I think he's the final guy who gets in. I just think it's going to be a good year for Eric Jones in 2024. He's the last one to get it in that season. So those are the drivers who I think will make the playoffs in 2024. Now let's talk about the guys who do not make it. First, the obvious one, the most controversial one, Martin Truex Jr. Now a lot of people are picking Martin Truex Jr. to make the playoffs. And I completely understand. He had a pretty good year. The reason I'm not picking him to make it though is because how the season ended. Mark Trex Jr., I believe in the last 10 or 11 races, only had two top 10 finishes and I believe one top five finish in the last 10 or 11 races. I'm getting very similar vibes to what happened to Kyle Busch from 2008 to 2009 and what happened to Dale Jr. from 2008 to 2009. I just don't see this 19 team recovering from how bad they started off the year, or the year ended, I should say, and I think they're going to struggle a lot of this year and they're not going to build a lot of momentum. I think it's not going to be a good year for Mark Trex Jr. I think he just misses the playoffs in 2024. The second one I have missing is Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez will be quicker. I think he's going to be a playoff contender, more of a threat in 2024 than he was in 2023. But unfortunately, I think there's going to be some issues that are just going to climb into Daniel Suarez's way. I think you're almost going to have to win a race to make it this upcoming year. And I think he's going to be more consistent, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make the playoffs in 2024. Next, you have Josh Berry. Josh Berry, I think, is going to be the best performer at Stu Ross Racing in 2024 because he's going to be working with Rodney Chillers. And I think at times, he actually is going to be in the playoffs. However, I think the inexperience is going to come back and haunt Josh Berry in 2024. I think that's the biggest reason why I sadly have him missing in 2024. I think he'll put up a good fight, but he won't do enough to make it this upcoming season. Next, let's talk about Chase Briscoe. I don't have Chase Briscoe making the playoffs either. I think he will have a better year than what he had in 2023. And I think he'll put up a fight to try to be the best driver at SHR. But sadly, because of SHR's equipment, I just don't see Chase Briscoe making it going into next year. I just don't have him doing it. I have him missing it, unfortunately. He's going to be good on short tracks. Might be his best chance and opportunity, maybe on super speedways as well. But I don't think you see him making it in 2024. Next, Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell had a pretty solid year in 2023 and actually did make the playoffs with the win the Indy Road Course, but I expect Front Row to regress just a little bit in 2024. Now, not regress a lot. I still think McDowell will show some speed at times, but sadly, I don't have McDowell making it. I just don't think he's going to have the consistent pace and speed to be a big threat at contender for the playoffs this upcoming season. Next, let's talk about Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., I expect to have a little bit of a downward trend from 2023, but not as much as I think some people are expecting. Stenhouse had a career in 2023, win the Daytona 500, but unfortunately, I just don't see JTG keeping up with some of these organizations. And some of these teams are going to figure out the next-gen car pretty quickly. I don't expect JTG to do that in 2024. 
Next, let's talk about Zane Smith. Zane Smith, of course, will be driving a 71 car for Spire Motorsports, and I think he will be the best driver of Spire because he'll have the track us partnership next year. But I do not see Zane Smith making the playoffs in 2024, unfortunately. Just I think Spire's a little bit behind a curveball, and they're not going to end up making it, sadly, in 2024. Next, let's talk about Austin Cinder. Cinder's going to have a little bit of a bounce back here, but won't have enough to make the playoffs. I think this is a make or break year for Cinder. He's got to do better, and I just don't see Cinder making the playoffs this year because if he doesn't do good, there's going to be some questions that are rising, and I don't think he makes it, unfortunately, in 2024. Next, let's talk about John Hunter Nemechek. John Hunter, I expect to be the best former the 42 car has seen, but I think he's still going to be behind Ben Bayshore, kind of struggling the Cup Series as a crew chief, so I think that's going to hurt their chances and opportunities to make the playoffs in general. Unlike Eric Jones, I think John Hunter misses the playoffs. Next, Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest's best chance is going to come at short tracks. I don't think he makes it to the playoffs, though, because I think that we saw how strong, like Penske's been on the short tracks and Henderson's short track program was at the beginning of the year. I don't see Ryan Priest making the playoffs, unfortunately, in 2024. Next, we have Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy had a pretty decent year in 2023, and Spire's going to be better in 2024. There's no doubt about that. But unfortunately, I don't have Ryan Priest making the playoffs. I think he misses it in 2024. Corey LaJoy, I should say, misses the playoffs in 2024. Just not going to be enough to get it done this upcoming year. Next, let's talk about Carson Osmar. Carson Osmar has joined the Cup Series for the first time, made a couple select Cup starts, and was impressive. And he's going to be the best form that 77 car has seen. But like I mentioned, with the other two drivers at Spire, I don't think he does enough this year to make it. I think it's going to be an up and down year for him. He missed the playoffs, unfortunately, in 2024. Next, Todd Gillen. Todd Gillen's probably going to run about as he did in 2023. It's going to be a good year, but not a great year. I think there's going to be some unfortunate inconsistencies with this number 38 team and some struggles that come along the way for the team throughout the year. Next, Justin Haley. Justin is joining Rico Racing in 2024. While I think the 51 is going to form the best it's ever performed, I don't see Justin Haley making the playoffs unless he wins a race. And I don't think Rick Ware is going to have the consistent pace or speed to win a race in 2024. So therefore, I have Justin Haley missing. Next, let's talk about Noah Grayson. While it's not officially announced that Noah Grayson is going cup racing at this point, he's more than likely headed to the number 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing. He's going to be the worst performer at SHR, in my opinion. I think there's some struggles coming his way, and I don't think it's going to be a great year for him in 2024 at SHR. I think he's going to be the worst former, like I said, at that team. Next, we have Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton missed the playoffs unless he wins a race, and he just struggled the last few years with the Wood Brothers. I don't think anybody's surprised I'm not picking him. I have him struggling throughout the year and not making the playoffs this upcoming year. Next, Ty Dillon. He's likely to join college racing to drive to 16. We saw a bad day where Phoenix recently. I don't see Ty Dillon making it, unfortunately. I think there's going to be some struggles coming his way, and I do not expect Ty Dillon to have a very good season in 2024. And I think he's going to struggle and not make the playoffs. Next, you have Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon, working with Keith Friedem more than likely. He's a good driver, but he's working with Keith Friedem. Not a good crew chief. That's a big reason why I haven't missed in the playoffs in 2024. I just don't think he makes it. And finally, Daniel Hammer. Daniel Hammer's going to be the better of the two drivers at college, but I just don't think this college team is going to make it this upcoming year. I think there's some struggles that come along the way with this team in 2024, and I think Daniel Hammer misses the playoffs. So, those are my way too early 2024 NASCAR Cup Series playoff predictions. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support our Patreon as well. Link to below that, and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. What are your 2024 NASCAR Cup Series playoff predictions? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we have 2024 NASCAR Cup Series predictions dropping. Then on Monday, there should be a NASCAR news video more than likely dropping on the channel. Tuesday will be another team preview, most likely Joe Gibbs Racing. Then on Wednesday, will more likely be potentially an Ask Her News video drop on the channel. And then, of course, we will not have video on, th on Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. And then Friday, we'll be back with another Ask Her News video potentially on the channel or something else dropping I think you all are going to enjoy. Got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.